Uh, Rio de Janeiro judge has, uh, we've learned, issued a search and seizure warrant for two of the four swimmers involved in that incident, Ryan Lochte and James Fagan. Now, they've asked uh, that those men's passports be seized. That should prevent them from leaving the country. And it really just causes a huge uh, chasm here in terms of what happened that night. Great confusion now. now these warrants have been issued, this lengthy court statement issued just in the last few hours says, uh, because of differences the judge perceived in the accounts of the men of what happened that night. One of them said they were surprised by the armed robbers, the other said that they hadn't been, and only one of the men had in fact been carrying a weapon. That led to some confusion. Now let's wind back a little bit here how we got to here. Ryan Lochte, uh, medal winner here, very important swimmer for the US team, he had uh, emerged from a nightclub uh, in the early hours of Sunday morning and uh, gave a, a lengthy account of how he in fact been held to the ground by armed police, fake armed police obviously, who'd taken valuables off him. Now confusion surrounded that, a lot of speculation as to how uh, could it have been that he was allowed to leave that scene still carrying uh, his cell phone and possibly his watch as well. That was unclear but then uh, in, earlier on this morning a video emerged, we can't authenticate it, but it appeared on uh, media platforms showing these men going back to their Olympic village looking pretty relaxed still in possession of quite a lot of high-value items that you'd expect an armed robber would take off you in the streets of Rio de Janeiro. Now, we've been speaking to a police spokesperson who says, well, it was that, really, that caused many Brazilians to wonder what's going on. Most of the target, frankly, of armed robbery here is high-value items like that. Now we have this very strange development where this uh, s search warrant and... Uh, request for seizure has been issued for the four men. We know Ryan Lochte's back in the US. The police aren't entirely sure where the other three are, or well, the spokesman we spoke to isn't sure. Two of them have given evidence uh, to the police. That's presumably Mr. Lochte and Mr. Feigen, because it's their accounts which the judge saw discrepancies in. I should point out here, none of this is a suggestion that anyone's done anything necessarily wrong. There is a lot of confusion about what happened here. And of course, the suggestion by these American swimmers that they were in fact held to the ground by men uh, pretending to be Brazilian police has got a lot of Brazilian officials very worried because that basically goes to the heart of the whole nature of the security operation here. If you can't trust men in uniform, what really can you do? But the speculation has gone round and round again and now we have this extraordinary development of, of search warrants being issued for the four men.